Okay, we are doing a conversion. This is going to be a pond to pond list. We're getting rid of uh, about 90% of this rock. All right, daily hurdle number one. This is from a pond tear out that we're on right now. And my dump trailer battery is totally dead. Just had $1,800 repairs on this dump trailer. And thanks to this guy over here, he saw me struggling. My jumper cable is not long enough to reach from the front of the truck to the back of the trailer. So he came over and gave me a hand. Otherwise, I'd be shoveling about four tons of rock out of the back of the trailer, which is not how I want to start my day. Walking back to check on Marcelino and Ryan. This is the first time I am seeing this new water feature install. And I approve. We had a pond here. This is a rough draft, so to speak. So what Ryan and Marcelino have here is uh, their first two waterfalls set over there. So what's really cool is uh, from the viewing area, pretty much right behind where I'm, I'm looking, gives the uh, the illusion that the stream is <laughs> is uh, you know uh, traversing back and forth uh, looks like they've had a better morning than me so far uh, with my experience at the dump okay hey Ryan how do you see this ending <laughs> amazing as always all right so I called Ryan last night to ask him how it was going and what am I going to expect for tomorrow and he's like uh, why don't you just take the day off we don't even need you I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, hmm. I guess uh, that's a good thing. I don't know. Okay, pulling up to a supposed finished product or close to a finished job that the guys are working on. Let's see how. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Look at what we have here. So a couple cool things I like about this feature is uh, number one, just the placement of it. This is the angle from the front door looking out. Uh, so it looks, you know, you got a nice side view of the feature. And something else kind of cool is sometimes we need to have access around the back of the feature. They had some plants back there that they didn't want to lose. So what we did was we built a retaining wall of boulders to hold up, hold up our elevation. So that's still nice flat ground back there and uh, plenty of walking space and growing space for the plants. And we're not built up against the wall. Uh, when we have to build up against the wall, we have to take a few extra precautions and sometimes can be a little more expensive uh, for the project. Uh, the, I'm getting distracted. There's this awesome hummingbird flying around. Okay. Oh, he took off, of course. So uh, we just uh, got done remodeling this uh, pond to a pondless waterfall. So uh, really happy with the way this turned out. and. Uh, Here's Scott, the homeowner, and uh, Scott, so what do you think? How did this turn out? What did you envision? Um, well, exactly what we had, and then we got like 10 times more. Um, the design and everything is exactly like we talked about. Um, what we were looking for basically out of the pond was the water crashing sounds and everything else, um, of which we got. Uh, everything that Ralph and his crew put in here uh, was awesome. Big thing is the homeowner, had multiple contractors work on homes and I come home and I see what they like to leave behind. Um, other than my pond being redone, I can even tell these guys were here. They did fantastic work. Right on, well I appreciate that. No and and that, I didn't ask him to say those things, but that's well appreciated. <laughs> 
All right, so I just love how this turned out. The guys did a fantastic job on, on uh, selecting boulders and boulder placement. Um, this is a cool little sheet fall down here at the bottom that disappears. This is the, our lower basin and uh, it kind of traverses to the side. And I like this erosion style fall here at the, at the top. That kind of gives us a little more of a bassy sound. Um, so um, just kind of gives that erosion type effect. So, um, you know, just an example of uh, different types of falls that make different sounds.